front, one wrapped over the other. So in order to create those where we kneel down, really the distance between our ankle and our knee kind of serves as a nice measuring stick. Because it's roughly equivalent to the same distance in front of the body. Use that to create the first thing. Then you want to pick out something on the blade that catches your eye, which is usually what this one and you use those as like counting lines. So starting here, we're using that as our baseline, which is right at the knee. You can count out however many stripes you want to create your first pleat. The thing to remember about pleating is that the thinner you make a pleat, the more of them you have to do. So the longer it's going to take. But it also looks better. If you're in a hurry and you want to do it quickly, you can make the pleats wider. You have to be less of them so it goes that much faster. Now, I generally try to achieve like the half and medium. So, we'll count out, say, three of one, two, three. We take the material and we fold it back onto itself. And then we count out one, two, three. And we bring it back and we fold it onto itself. And you just keep doing that, drawing the material in. The thing to remember is you want to do it consistently the same distance each time that you're doing it. Nope, and that's, that's actually a good point that I was just going to get to. What you do is you always want to try to keep a nice straight line with your pleat. And when you place them on the material, you want to lay them so they're sort of staggered. You don't want to stack them one on top of another so that you make it you know, almost what looks like a, to be a stack of canyons. You want to stagger them in this fashion. Because this is what spreads the pleats around the back side of your body. If you stack them all on top of each other, they kind of like kick out in the water and sort of fan out and look like a rooster tail you know, sticking out of your butt. Which, you know, doesn't look very good. It would fall apart rather quickly. So, you keep going through these pleats. Now, you notice um, pulling the material in the middle in one hand and on the edge with the other. The reason for that is you don't need to wrestle with the whole piece of material, grabbing both of the edges to fold the pleat. The reason for that is, not only is it known as a great plan, it's really more, but it's also known as a belted plan.